guys, welcome back. As promised, today's video is going to be a review of an item that I have been fortunate enough to be able to own and use for quite a while now. I've actually had this item for the last um, five or six months, so I've had uh, quite enough time to use it and to be able to give you guys a very honest and accurate review. The item in question from one of my favorite brands, it is Cartier and it is their love collection. I have to tell you guys, I am in love with the love collection. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into this review. I'm stumbling over my words today and I think it's because I've had a double dose of caffeine. I've had like coffee, like a latte, and then I've had a cup of really strong tea. So I'm like trying to catch up with my own words today. So excuse me if some of my words don't come across as clearly. Let's start first of all by showing you what the earrings look like. So this is the box that the love earrings come in. And inside is, ah, it's already open for you guys. I'm so excited. Ta -da! These are the Cartier love earrings in the yellow gold. This is what the front of the earrings looks like. It's the same uh, love logo that's on all of their iconic pieces. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. It's actually a very different closure. It's a ball closure. Now I don't know about you guys, but I've never actually had earrings with ball closures before. Most of my earrings are the butterfly, you know, where you push it in and it locks in place and you're done with it. This is a little bit more trickier when it comes to closures, or maybe it is for me because I've never really had this kind of closure on the earrings before. We'll dive into that, but first of all, let me give you a quick overview of the earrings. The love earrings actually come, these ones, these are the smaller love earrings. The love earrings come in two sizes. They come in this size, which is the six millimeter diameter, and they come in the 7.2 millimeters. There's not a big difference, but if you're like me and you like your everyday earrings to be on the smaller side, on the understated side, then this is the perfect size, at least for me it is. Um, here's the thing about these earrings though, the small love earrings, number one, they're only sold individually. So I had to buy two of them and they're priced individually as well. Also, uh, the smaller love earrings only come in the yellow gold. So if you go for the larger love earrings, the 7.2 millimeter diameter, those come in all three colors. They come in white, yellow, and rose gold. These ones only, however, come in the yellow gold. And because I was so keen on this particular size, I actually let go of my only rose gold jewelry rule and I actually went ahead and I bought these and I love them. They work perfectly with all of my other rose gold pieces as well. Now pricing, I actually bought these earrings a couple of months ago. I'm not sure if it was five or six months ago, but when I bought these earrings, they were a bit cheaper or I wouldn't say cheaper, but literally the day I bought these earrings, one day later Cartier had a price increase. So when I bought these earrings, I checked my receipt they cost me 18, um, 1,819 dirhams each. Now on the website, they're uh, listed as 2,090 dirhams each. So there was a price increase and I was lucky enough to get these at a slightly lower price. All right, now I actually have been wearing these earrings nonstop for the last five, six months, which brings us to the question of why are you not wearing them right now? And that's basically when story time comes into play. Always going to be a story time attached to every single one of my purchases. I can't help it. I'm like the Shahrazad of jewelry and handbags. When I bought these earrings, I had my SA put them on for me in the store. And once she put them on, we both realized that the post of the earrings was actually pretty long for my ears. So instead of sitting flush against my ears, the earrings were actually falling forward. My SA advised me to get them altered. And luckily the Mall of Emirates store has a workshop right within the store. So I went to the workshop, they measured my ears, they measured the post. We all decided on what was the best size because we had to make sure that the earring was short enough so it sat flush against my earlobe, but also so that there was enough room in the back for the ball closure to close and not dig into the skin. So once we had all of that sorted out, I gave my earrings, I think it took them 12 days to get them altered. And then um, they gave me a call. I went in, the earrings fit fine. My essay put them on for me. And the reason I had my essay put them on is because the little ball at the back, it's very, it's so tiny. I was afraid that I was gonna drop it somewhere and not find it. So I just had her do it for me. So she put them on and I forgot about them. I was enjoying them every single day. They're perfect. They don't pinch. They don't, the back, because there's the ball at the back, it doesn't, the post doesn't stab you in the back of the neck. I wear them during showers, um, workouts, like basically 24 seven, they were in my ears, right? And everything was fine and dandy up until the last week. 
So last week I was going somewhere and I needed to change out of the earrings into more fancier pair. Easier said than done, right? So I sat down, I took off my left earring, I cleaned it by disinfecting alcohol, I put it in the box, and then we come to this ear. I tried my hardest to unscrew the earring. This is the ball closure is basically you put it onto the back of the post, it latches on, and then you have to screw it until it's tight, and you have to screw it towards your ear. So I was screwing in the opposite direction, and I swear to you, I must have sat there trying to get the earring off for about 30 minutes, and it refused to, the ball refused to turn. The process of, you know, trying to unscrew it and unscrew it, my ear got so red and so irritated, it was starting to ooze. I know it sounds nasty, but I have to give you guys the most honest experience I've had with these things. So my ear was oozing, it was bright red, it was hurting like crazy, and it was swollen to the point that the earring was digging into the ear. There was like skin all around it. I was like, okay, you know what? I cannot take this off. And so I messaged my essay and I told her, I sent her a picture and I'm gonna put the picture up here. I told her, this is the problem. My ear is swollen, the earring is not coming off. And she was like, no worries, just come to the store and we'll take a look at it. Obviously I could not go to the store that day or even the next day or the day after that because my ear was really badly irritated and I had to apply antibiotic ointments on it to help the swelling go down. Once that cleared up, I went to the mall I met my essay, um, she's like, don't worry about it. We've had a couple of complaints where people have had issues with the love earring not coming off. So then she sat down, she disinfected my ear with the alcohol swab. She tried her best, tried it, tried it, nothing happened, it did not budge. She was like, okay, you know what? Let me just go and cut my nails so that I have a better grip on the ball part of it. She went, cut her nails, come back, tried it, nothing happened. And all this time I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, I'm chained to my earrings. I mean, I love the earrings, but good God, I didn't sign up for a lifetime of wearing them, you know? I mean, I do want to change them out once in a while. Anyways, when she couldn't get them out, um, luckily they had the jewelry technician in the workshop and they said that the guy, because he deals with like watches, so he's used to having smaller little parts and components. So he came out and then he tried. And I think after two or three minutes of screwing in and trying to get it to move, he was able to get it off. And I cannot tell you, I was so relieved my ear was again it was swollen it was irritated because two people had been tugging on it for the last 20 minutes but the earring was thankfully off so the technician and the essay both told me that the earrings needed to be cleaned on a regular basis so they said um and also because my ears are very sensitive she said that i have a lot more buildup of like uh, dead skin and of gross than most people also she said the water in dubai is really hard and then lotions and you know, so residue, they keep getting built up. So she told me, you know what, every week just take your earring off, clean it with alcohol, clean your ear, and then put the earring back on and do it every week. And you're not gonna have any problems with this earring because I was terrified. I was like, you know, I mean, can I not wear these ever again? She's like, no, 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 it's not an issue. You know what, just do what I'm telling you and you're gonna be fine. So long story short, I went home. Um, I could not wear the earrings right away because my ear was so irritated. And honestly, I just did not want to risk putting them on again and getting them stuck so i think for the this is the today is the third or fourth day that i have had these other earrings on i'm applying antibiotic ointments to my ear regularly to encourage it to heal faster so i can go back to putting on these little beautiful earrings so that was my story with the cartier love earrings i don't know if anyone of you have had this experience before i googled and i searched on youtube when my earring got stuck but Apparently, either nobody has had this issue or nobody's posted about it. So I'm doing this just because if anybody out there is um, planning to buy these ones, the smaller love earrings, um, and they have sensitive ears like mine, you might have this issue. Again, uh, keep in mind that I had my earring posts shortened so that they would sit better against my ears. When you buy them, the post is a lot longer, so maybe you might not have the same problems that I had with these earrings. Issues aside, these earrings are gorgeous. Um, I still recommend them even if after all the ear pain it's given me because they're literally they're really beautiful pieces it's just super understated they go with everything you can wear them with um super casual like i'm wearing a tee or i'm gonna put up a picture of myself and i'm all jazzed up and dressed up uh, for a modeling session and i was still wearing these earrings and they work perfectly even though i was wearing like eastern wear and not like jeans and top like i usually am point i'm trying to make is that they basically work with all kinds of outfits from super casual daytime office they're also office appropriate if you work in an environment where they don't allow flashy jewelry these are perfect and then they can transition seamlessly into the evening 
when you're trying to wear something more fancier. So that was my experience with the Cartier Love earrings. Again, I love these earrings. I just had a bit of an episode with them. I think that's just me. It's just me. I just have some kind of weird experience with everything that I end up buying. But I think it's actually very interesting because it gives me, it gives every piece of jewelry that I have a, a history of its own and it's a great conversation piece. You know, oh, do you, I love your earrings. You know, there's a story, la la la, yeah, and all of these. So before I uh, end this video, I would like to tell you guys again, our usual routine of what's in the bag. Here's the Cartier bag. Like I said, I did not get these gift wrap because I wore them or they had to go for alterations. Because the Cartier earrings are a single purchase, like they come individually, you're gonna get two uh, certificate of authenticity with them, one for each earring. And you're also gonna get a travel pouch. Then there is also the invoice. And uh, no, you don't get two separate invoices. They're just going to list both items on the same invoice. So it's gonna be one invoice for both the items. And that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been long overdue, but I really wanted to test these earrings out as best as I could and then give you a review because most people just tend to unbox and then you get like these glowing reviews, which is perfect. I love unboxing myself, but I think certain items, they really need to be tested out before we can give an honest and unbiased uh, review of them. Don't forget to comment down below. I love hearing from you uh, guys and I also, I, I do my best to reply to every single comment. I really do, I read them. They make my day, especially if they're really nice comments. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.